Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we're going to review yet another welding related item. One that costs way less than it should. I bought this eBay gas lens kit. I'm curious to see how well it works. This kit came with seven cups, four different size gas lenses and collets, some end pieces, and some other small pieces like O-rings to connect it all together. Right here we have a size 17 torch from the Vulcan Pro TIG 165 kit. It has a standard TIG cup setup. Basically, this all screws into the torch body. Here's the collet, which helps squeeze the electrode. These holes are where argon pours out. This style setup works fine. The only issue is, since the gas pours out of these holes, not the end of the cup, it's pretty turbulent. For many applications, this works just fine. But if you want a little more consistent flow of gas, a little less turbulent, a gas lens kit is the way to go. This kit came set up for the four standard sizes of electrodes you see. A one millimeter, or about 40 thou. A 1.6 millimeters, or 16th of an inch. 2.4 millimeters, or 3 32nds of an inch. Or 3.2 millimeters, which is 1 8th of an inch. I've been rocking a 3 32nds electrode for a little while, so we'll get that one set up. Now that we're set up, we're going to do a direct comparison between a couple little welds I did earlier with the standard 6 cup and the size 6 gas lens. In general, you want to use a gas lens setup on a DC weld. You don't really want to use it on aluminum when you're using AC. I'm not going to go too deep into that, but Hourglass Fab has an awesome video that explores the details of when you want to use a gas lens and when you don't. Right now I'm just going to show you this kit and how well it works. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed that we do need a little bit more gas for the same exact weld. That's okay, just turned up the dial a little bit on the reg and we're good to go. The first one I did here on the bottom, you can tell there wasn't quite enough gas. You can tell the impurities that have developed within the weld. The two above it, you can see that the coverage is much, much better, although I did kind of suck on the welds. You can see here that I've laid a few beads. It's working pretty nicely. I really like the coverage that this gas lens is providing. Let's try a bigger cup. Now that I'm using a much bigger cup, I probably should crank up the gas, but I'm gonna try it just how it is, just out of curiosity. My favorite thing about these cups being Pyrex and clear is that I can see the weld a little bit better. You can see the tongues in and exactly what's going on. And once I dial my camera settings in, you guys will be able to see it a little better too. Just as I thought, some impurities. Let's crank up the gas and see what we can get. Here's that number 12 cup at 25 CFH. The top weld was the last weld we just did. Still some impurities, but much better. We'll crank it up a little higher. It looks like with that number 12 cup, our sweet spot is right around 30 CFH. Now that we've done some welding, let's talk about why you might want to buy a kit like this. The great part about this kit is how much versatility you have. Like I said, four different sizes of tungstens, seven different cup sizes ranging from number four to a number 12. What that number means is the inside diameter. So a number four would be four sixteenths or one quarter of an inch. A number 12 would be 12 sixteenths or three quarters of an inch. Another neat feature is the different size end caps that come with it. 
If you're ever in a very tight spot and you need that little bit of extra space, say you're welding roll cages, you can swap these end pieces on the back, give yourself a little more room. Gas lenses are also nice because you can switch out the cups very fast. Tiny little number four. Big old number 12. Now this is what I love to see. This big cup being clear and Pyrex gives so much better visibility. And it looks pretty cool on camera too. I find myself coming to the same conclusion regarding these inexpensive substitutes for good welding things, such as a welder, gas lens setup, regulator, any of that stuff, even a hood. In general, if you're a hobbyist, there's nothing wrong with going the cheaper route. In the end, you may be buying twice, that's a possibility, but so far so good. I haven't experienced any trouble with these inexpensive items. However, if you're a professional, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. But if you are, I would recommend forking out the big bucks of buying the Miller welder, the proper reg, the Furic cup set, gas lens set, all those types of things. If you're using and abusing these products every single day, you might find that the more expensive products are going to last you much longer. You probably won't have to rebuy. Whereas these inexpensive products, they work, but you're likely to wear them out much faster. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment as we will be doing many more reviews and even projects. Thank you.